Don't look for me on Facebook. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is what I call a chili verde burrito. I can't wait to get into this. They threw some chips on the side. That joker is huge, and it costs less than $11. It was $10 and some change. And they threw in some chips and some salsa. You, I just feel so special, and the service was excellent. Friendly people, oh my god, it was wonderful. Father God, in the name of Jesus, glory to the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God, for the food. Please bless the food and anyone who comes in today, and a special blessing to any and everyone who's experiencing any kind of trouble or turmoil or catastrophes in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And for the drink, it's going to be green, green apple, Gatorade. And also, in case anybody didn't know, this is Mexican Hispanic Heritage Month. As if I needed an excuse to eat a great burrito. And the reason I already know it's great is because I've been to this place before. I haven't had their burritos, but the, I had their chili verde. And they told me that they use the same meat that for the chili verde in this burrito. So I know it's going to be fantastic and I'm so excited. And, oh, I forgot to take my uh, medicine. reflux and uh, every day I take this pill if I lose some weight and eat properly I may not have to take this anymore but so far I haven't quite lost much weight and sometimes I eat properly but sometimes I don't so pretty is this Gatorade. That color is so nice. And I really like that flavor too. Green apple flavor. It's really good. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Mmm. They got the magic recipe. So outstanding. I love it when there's an outstanding place to eat that's not too far away and it's affordable. Mm. I forgot to say it's day five, five of the no hot sauce challenge. No hot sauce for a week challenge created by Ingrid Chase, starring Yaki Snacky. Thank you, Ingrid Chase. Thank you. 
for making up this challenge. And part of me is saying, does salsa count as hot sauce? Because if it does, I think I'm about to fail my own challenge. Mmm. Seems like back in the day they told me that salsa was Mexican hot sauce. Mm. And since it's Mexican Heritage Month, as if I needed an excuse to eat a delicious burrito. Did I say that already? Well, I don't need any excuse. When I find a place that has good Mexican food, especially affordable Mexican food, I can go there often. And I always like to have chips with my burrito, tortilla chips. And it's so good. And they put the wet sauce on top of it. So I don't have to have the salsa. And I probably should have turned it down. But it came with the meal. It came with the burrito, you guys, you see. So, and when I found out that my burrito was only $10.85 and it came with some chips and salsa, I was thinking I should order something else like a taco to go along with it. But then I said, no, no, no. There's no kind of way to get, lose any weight. But I didn't even think about asking for some guacamole. That would have been good. However. Mm. This is so magnificent, I don't need it. I don't. I don't even need that salsa. Next time, I might not get the salsa. I might just get the chips. I'm not getting a giant bag of chips. Well, it's not really giant, but it's very generous considering I didn't have to pay extra. Mexican Heritage Month. No hot sauce week. Mm. I'm really pleased. And I was going to try a new place. Because it's very popular, you know, like on the uh, on the internet, it looks really popular and everything. But it's further away. And something said, "Just get what you know." Hmm.
it's a terrible thing when you doing the video and the food is not that good. Mm -mm. One time I went to this place for the very first time. And I was on my way to my car with my food. And so the guy came out of the restaurant and he said that they had made a mistake with my food and they need to fix it. So I gave him my food. He took it back and fixed it. I guess whatever he did. And then when I got home, I did the video and everything, but I really didn't like the food. And it wasn't cheap either. But after I finished the video, it was just It wasn't nice. <laughs> so I didn't even upload it. And there has been very, very few videos that I made and just didn't like and deleted it or didn't upload it. Where I ate the food, I'm talking. I could probably count on one hand. But that was very memorable because That really creeped me out the way he said that they messed up. They did something with the food and they needed to fix it. And then when I got home, it, it, it just didn't taste good at all. That was very strange. Sometimes I think you have to be a certain culture in order to appreciate their food to the fullest. Because it can be so authentic that the people of that culture just love it so much and they think it's fantastic. And I'll be thinking, this is horrible. And yet the people of that culture love it so much and they come in every day almost. They make it happen. Mm-mm. I think I have one more day of the no hot sauce challenge. <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to have. But I think it might be sandwich. Mm. That is some good salsa. I 
I think the next time I go to this restaurant, I think I want to get some fish. See how they fix their fish. Good. What is your favorite thing to eat from the Mexican menu? Tacos, burritos, chili relleno, tostadas. I remember the first time I had flautas. I was lucky enough that it was excellent. <clears throat> then the next time I had it, it wasn't that good. So I guess I just got lucky that first time because I only had it a few times after that, but each subsequent time was not as delicious. I hope you guys can hear my stomach making all that noise. I don't know why it's doing that. But if you hear it, please forgive me. <laughs> it's like my stomach decided they wanted to talk and be in the video too. I think I'm gonna save some for later. And I think this is a good, good time to stop. And um, yeah, make it happen. Mm. Very, very pleased. Really happy with my selection. I'm really happy that, that this burrito is so big I can't believe it. I cannot believe! They fixed me up proper! Mmm. Fantastic. I don't have to figure out what's for dinner. Because here it is. Mm. Hard to stop though when it's really good. Oh yeah. But I know if I was to eat all this, I would just be very, very, very uncomfortable. Mmm. Mmm.
So, mm. oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Yes, guys. Thank you for coming in. A special, special thank you to Ingrid Chase for making up the no hot sauce for one week challenge. Bye, you guys. Roger that.